Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today's video we're going to talk about the delay of Tales of Tenorio. Now, if you are aware, yesterday we were supposed to get Tales of Tenorio, but instead it got delayed because Topia is in the hospital. And he was in the hospital since um, the day before yesterday. Um, so the day before yesterday would be Thursday. But they just decided to announce it now in the Discord server, in the news section, instead of just announcing it prior but all right why did he go to the hospital the thing is they didn't even mention it anywhere in news this is where they're supposed to announce mostly everything for so they could be crystal clear for everyone but you have to lose some little research i guess and uh, i'm i'm guessing it's probably because his hands swole or something still the information is not very clear and too much writing um, and we know not a lot of people are going to read all this, so what I'm going to do is let this speak for itself. Lucky HD said pings hello everyone, we have been going through extensive testing and we were finalizing everything to get ready for release on Friday. Unfortunately our lead scripter and developer Utopian has been hospitalized last night on an emergency given to him directly by his hospital. This is troubling considering Utopian was nearly finished pushing an extensive fix that squashed a lot of bugs and ported over the finalized version of Kagan Cliffs, and the second gym. Due to this completely unforeseen event Topia physically cannot publish the game until he is back and well from the hospital, we know this is extremely upsetting based on last week's delay but these are complications Topia has had for a while, and recently they have gotten worse, exacerbated by the pressure he has put himself under for the past three weeks, with countless sleepless nights trying to get this game ready. Lucky HD said please keep Topia in your thoughts, we are going to be communicating the entire time with you all through this and letting you all know once Topia gets better. Lucky HD said we are unbelievably sorry for this delay, everyone on the team is taken aback by it and we want to do what is best for everyone here. Lucky HD said once again for those who didn't read, we physically cannot publish the game until Topia gets back and well from the hospital. Kyle Allen Music said I just wanted to chime in and thank those of you who have been constantly understanding of the issues we've been dealing with. While your words may be lost quickly to a sea of chaos, we do see you and appreciate you. Many of us have been dealing with physical and mental health issues this past week trying to get this done. Heck I have several doctor's appointments. I want to give a huge thank you to Lucky as well for being the person to share both the good and bad news for this project which is not an easy task. Please send your thoughts and prayers to Utopia. What he's dealing with isn't easy. Right now the team needs to collect ourselves and once again thank you to those who have been constantly understanding. This game means everything to us and has so much potential. Lucky HD said hey everyone, an update from Topia. Tell them I plan on sending out something as soon as I get my charger from my brother TMRW. Lucky HD said Topia is still in the hospital for those curious, he hasn't been able to communicate much because he's been there all day without a charger and his phone is his only means of communication. Lucky HD said this does not mean Topia will be home tomorrow, and even if he is we really want to make sure he is okay before getting back into things. Once again though, Topia should be talking with you all tomorrow. Lucky HD said BTW, sending something out is a message to the community, once again please remember he is at the hospital and only has his phone on him. BEA Scripts said hey everyone. I've been away from the internet and social media because things got a bit toxic. I want to clear up some questions people have been asking. One big question is. Why doesn't BEA just launch the game? To make things simple, I'll give a metaphor. Imagine a pizza. The front-end developer is like the chef who carefully arranges the toppings to make the pizza look delicious. They focus on how the pizza appears to the customer. The backend developer is like the chef who makes the sauce and prepares the dough behind the scenes. 
They handle the important parts that make the pizza taste great, even though you can't see their work directly. Although my recourses mainly go to environment design and directing the environment design team for the project, I am only a front-end developer. I handle things like cut scenes, user interface, and making the game visually appealing. So, the front-end developer makes the pizza look good, and the back-end developer makes sure it all blends smoothly together. I don't handle the complex battle engine or security, that's Topia's hard and dedicated work. He's dealing with a medical emergency, so please just give him the time he needs to recover. I want to make sure the game is top-notch when it's out, and launching it without fixing everything isn't cool. I also massively respect Topia's hard work, and would never launch without him. I want to make sure the game we give you is something you'll love, so the best option is to just show respect and love to Topia and hold on. Thanks for being patient and understanding. BEA Scripts said Topia really deserves a lot of love. He's put his whole life into this game for you all, especially in the past few weeks. You all mean a lot to him. Just be respectful. BEA Scripts said for those spreading rumors, yes, Topia was online this morning, but that doesn't mean he lied to anyone. He's been working on the project tirelessly, even with swollen hands this morning before he went in. I won't share more personal details, but trust me, he's been giving it his all. Even with his current issues, he tried his best to help me prepare the stuff he couldn't fully push so we could still deliver on time. We ultimately had to come to the right decision. Topia's commitment to this project is beyond words. I wouldn't be surprised if his health suffered because of how much he's poured into it. Let's not spread rumors about others. Lucky HD said before I go to bed I wanna answer one last thing I see people talking about why can't Topia just publish it, or someone else log onto his account Topia has a ton of stuff on his account for other games, stuff I wouldn't even trust anyone else with and that's completely valid, he's also the sole owner of the group with the release version, therefore he has the power to set it public. Secondly if you were reading earlier there is still a final patch Topia was going to put out that would have included the stuff mentioned earlier, second gym trainer battle, Kagan, etc, this stuff is stuff that has been tested by him separately and would not have affected release. Considering Topia left his PC on it is likely it didn't save and he might have to refix these issues again, we also do not want to pressure Topia back into things whatsoever and we will discuss with him on an appropriate speed to work at when he is discharged we will of course keep you all updated, as hopefully will he tomorrow. I also see a lot of doubt and people saying there is no game they're rushing to finish it. I promise you there is a game haha, I have did 4 playthroughs so far and have found minimal bugs personally. Lucky HD said I just wanted to come on here and provide this little extra context as I've been hearing it from a lot of people and you guys of course deserve to know things like this. Mongolian Tug Rick Utopian said first let me get things down for you all. 1. You can't publish or edit games on mobile, thought this was obvious. 2. The team decided that it would be best to wait to release the game as without me any issues slash bugs couldn't be fixed for more than a day at minimum. 3. Already said this on Twitter slash X but I was going into hospital anyways but no way in hell did I expect to being dragged there early nor did I expect it to last so long. 4. I've had very limited contact with the dev team purely due to the fact I only have my phone W slash limited charge and some stuff may have got lost through people. 5. I've mentioned this before but TCS on Roblox are horrible and rarely ever work on my laptop after a certain size hence why most files for TOT are on a memory stick, past what's published which would be everything but the final version of the second stadium and an odd few fixes. I've only got a short amount of time RN but TLDR, you can't really release a game when your lead scripter is gone as any issues can't be fixed by them. He'll follow this up when I have some more time. Mongolian Tug Rick Utopian said in the future post-release he'll teach some of the dev team how the engine security and other stuff works to prevent this.
Well, as you could hear, um, most of the thing he was talking about was that he is in the hospital and you cannot he cannot publish the game without the script of there. And they're not very clear on what's the reason to go to the hospital, why he went. Um, you could argue that uh, B-Script said that he is hand got or something like that. But still, that's not clear enough what happened or how's the situation standing right now. Everything seems very messy and all over the place. <laughs> the, they decided to announce it late three hours before it was supposed to be released. And sorry if this video is a bit too long. This is from yesterday and moving on to today. So this is a bit very long video. And all this issue is a whole mess. But we will see what happens. Anyways, long story short, game delayed again. Hospital reason, descriptor, got hosp went to the hospital. His hand got swole, apparently. I don't know. The information is not clear enough. This is an image of him being in the hospital, apparently. I don't know. I'm not British. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the information or news today. Um, hopefully the video did help you out. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Go to the description, follow all our social media. Our Roblox group, we sell outfits if you want. Um, I drew them by myself, my hand. And by myself, you could purchase them in our Roblox group, of course. Um, join that, join our Discord, join all this stuff. And uh, follow us on social media. And I'm still streaming if you want to come to the stream. I'm still going to try to stream until the game releases. So, yeah. If you guys want to talk about the game, you can come to um, to the stream and we could just talk about Tales of Tenorio. And for Topia, if you guys, let's not send hate because if you think about it, sending hate, that was just delay the game more. So if you want the game to come out, you should um, you know send positivity and say, oh, we hope you get better Topia and sending prayers or whatever. Just hope that he gets better. Don't send hate. If you send hate, you're, you're dumb, immature, and just I feel bad for you because something has to be in your life that to make you say those hurtful, hateful things. I've seen people saying really mean things. I don't know what has to go in your life to say something like that, but I feel bad for you. Um, but yeah, send to uh, Topia some love, tell him to get better. Because sending hate, it just slows out a game, and that's not accomplish anything. Anyways, like I said, till I see you guys next time. Um, stay safe, and take care.